I think of connecting is really is the way to uh, get on an emotional level. I mean, it's a, it's a relationship. I'm not just spewing facts and figures. I'm just not giving you data, but I'm really learning about you as a person. And what I, what I find with leaders, especially younger leaders, is it's really easy to connect with people that are like us. So if I'm a Cowboy fan and you're a Cowboy fan and we get together every Monday and we talk about the game, it's pretty easy for us to get a connection going. We connect on common ground. Where it's more difficult is those people that aren't quite like us. Those are different. And a lot of, a lot of leaders fail as they grow up into an organization because they've got to learn to lead people that are different, different personalities are not wired the same way they are. You know, I grew up in sales, so as a first level sales manager, I could hire salespeople just like me and we all got along great. When I got promoted up, now I was managing some finance people, some marketing people, and they were very different and I had to work very hard. Well, first of all, I learned some tough lessons about not connecting with them, where that led me. But I had to be really work really hard to learn to connect with people that were wired very, very differently than, than I was. And so it's a real challenge, I think, for leaders to make sure you're connecting with everybody on common ground. Make an impact on your bottom and top lines. Contact Mark Fenner. He gets results. 469-293-6198. This is Bob Caplitz for the RISE Performance Group.